As we are reminded of the overwhelming power of scientific discovery, we learn from century-old discoveries all over again and dive into the borderline supernatural. So as technology advances, so does our understanding of the world and beyond, and science exists as a way to provide answers to the pressing questions that we have. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent science discoveries. Swarm of 20,000 earthquakes could make Iceland's volcanoes erupt. As of late, Iceland has experienced an abundance of earthquakes and endured a lot of seismic activity, which experts fear might awaken the ancient volcanoes of the nation. Over 20,000 earthquakes have been recorded by scientists at the Icelandic Meteorological Office since February 2021, which caused an immense number of problems for citizens of the country. The majority of the earthquakes average to a magnitude of three, though some are higher. This at least means that they are not catastrophic but can be felt and cause moral unrest, with much fear of the magnitude potentially rising as this strange occurrence continues. Iceland has a history of volcanic eruptions resulting from earthquake-like activity, heightening stress about it happening again. The Reykjanes Peninsula is most at threat, with most seismic activity happening there. The peninsula is at an orange level, meaning that it is likely to erupt. The Icelandic government confessed that there have been pulses of volcanic activity occasionally occurring since February, and this has been at an increased rate the most notable of which occurred near Mount Kailir. But the Scientific Council for Civil Protection stands by their statement that there is no evidence of magma incoming, although it's important to note that when this comes to volcanic activity, things can change instantaneously. An eruption, should it happen, would place the surrounding areas under great danger. Even if scientists are estimating it to only be a small eruption, it would result in undoubtable property damage from lava. There is also the potential for scientific estimation to be faulty and an impromptu eruption could be far worse than assumed. Ash could also lead to a massive problem for Iceland's tourism industry and cause issues for world aviation as well. Despite the potential risks, the Icelandic Prime Minister seems confident in Iceland's preparation for natural disasters, remarking that the country would know exactly what to do in such a situation. When interviewed about the matter, the Prime Minister stated, Iceland has highly trained, educated and experienced professionals in this area. Most importantly, the Icelandic public is used to dealing calmly with many different types of natural events related to the weather or geology. Volcanoes have power over us, just as other forms of natural disasters do. Hurricanes, tornadoes, cyclones, it is just a reminder of our mortality and limitations against the strength our planet holds. Beautiful, yet so dangerous, he could steal the lives of millions and can destroy half a nation with enough determination. It is no wonder that our ancestors respected nature. Lava Lake is discovered on sub-Antarctic island. The July of 2019 saw the uncovering of a lava lake on the remote Saunders Island, and despite there being approximately 1,500 volcanoes on Earth, Mount Michael on Saunders Island is only the eighth in the world to be confirmed as having a lava lake. The discovery of the volcano was reported in the journal entitled Volcanology and Geothermal Research in early July 2019. This was the first volcano with a lava lake to have been identified in the remote series of South Sandwich Islands. This finding was made using satellite imagery. In 2001, low-resolution satellite data proved to have an anomalous result in it, but the low-resolution and limited frame rate could not prove that there was a lava lake on Saunders Island. With more advanced technology capturing shots more frequently and at higher resolutions, Images collected between 2003 and 2018 have uncovered the lava lake, spanning 90 to 215 meters in diameter, with the lava hitting the soaring temperatures of 1,279 degrees Celsius. Whilst the stereotypical image of volcanoes spewing out lava is not inaccurate, there is often lava when they erupt. The pools of molten rock these form is usually only temporary. After the eruption, within a matter of days or weeks, this liquid lava pool will dry into solid rock. 
Mount Michael, along with the volcanoes of Nyiragonga in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Erta Ale in Ethiopia, Mount Erebus beside the Ross Sea, Mount Yasur in Vanuatu, Ambrim in Banatum Kilauea in Hawaii, and the Masaya Caldera in Nekawagua are the only volcanoes in the world known to always have lava bubbling away inside. This geological discovery is made all the more exciting by the inaccessible nature of Saunders Island. Very few researchers have visited this volcano, and none have ever reached the summit. Mount Michael is a fascinating, thrilling discovery, and without the high-resolution, high-quality satellite imagery, we perhaps never would have uncovered the world's eighth lava lake. Dr. Alex Burton Johnson from the British Antarctic Survey commented, We are delighted to have discovered such a remarkable geological feature in the British Overseas Territory. He elaborated, explaining that the increased understanding of the volcanic activity within Mount Michael had the potential to tell us about similar features elsewhere. Additionally, the discovery of Mount Michael proves we are able to monitor volcanoes from space. The development of space technology is advantageous from many angles and perspectives, including here on Earth. These quiet areas, from Antarctic penguin droppings to remote island lava to ancient continents, are all home to an abundance of research opportunities. The discoveries that have been made bring us one step closer to the ones that will come next. Pingualuit Crater Discovery in Quebec, Canada, lies a mysterious crater dubbed Pingualuit, which is the Inuit word for pimple. This crater is not only impressive in size at 3.44 kilometers, but Pingualuit Crater Lake is rumored to contain the purest fresh water on Earth. It is also one of the deepest lakes on the North American continent. According to a freshwater lake expert, the crater lakes hold such volumes of water in comparison to the surrounding glacial lakes that they are slower to respond to the temperature changes. Pingualuit Crater Lake is always the last to freeze in winter and the last to melt in the spring. In addition to temperature, wind can also affect which lakes freeze and melt fastest or slowest. The Pingualuit Crater is an impact crater formed by a fallen meteorite or asteroid in the Pleistocene era approximately 1.4 million years ago. It was discovered on the 20th of June 1943 by a United States Air Force plane. The Royal Canadian Air Force also surveyed this area in 1948, although their photographs would not be available to the public until 1950. An Ontario diamond prospector named Frederick W. Chubb became fascinated by the photographs of the crater. He sought help from geologists, Ben Mean of the Royal Ontario Museum. At first, Chubb hoped that the crater was part of a volcano. Extinct volcanoes often contain diamond deposits that he would have been able to mine. However, what he and Mean found was that the crater resulted from the impact of a meteorite crashing into Earth instead. The two men dubbed the crater Chubb Crater and the nearby lake Museum Lake. These names persisted until Mean went out on another expedition to the crater in 1954. On that expedition, the crater was rechristened Crater de Nouveau Quebec, or New Quebec Crater, at the behest of the Quebec Geographic Board. In recent years, further expeditions to the Pingualuit Crater have uncovered the records of two separate geological periods in the sediment cores from the bottom of the lake. Scientists hope that further samples taken from the lake and crater might yield breakthroughs in the realm of climate change. But what do you make of these three recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.